Hey. Hey everyone. Hello. Hi. So this is an E92 M3. This is the car that everyone in the comments always goes, wow, what's that old crashed car in the background? Oh my God, it's so cold. And now we can reveal that it is. An E92 M3. So, <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's our donor vehicle for the E30 M3 project. Uh, it's where we've stolen the VCT from and all sorts of other bits and bobs. Uh, and it's been very useful, but so, it's just a mess. So this is part eight of the E30 build video and you're doing lots of things? Yeah, uh, basically, essentially what we're trying to do in this episode, I think, is get ready for the Howell race engineering guys to come and do the wiring loom, uh, the Cybex control system, some of the ABS wiring and all sorts of stuff like that. So it's basically a mad rush to try and get ready for them uh, in a short amount of time. So I hope you enjoy. Good old um, axle stand. Yeah. What would you be doing with such a thing? Uh, crawling around with a Mingin. Uh, a Mingin M3. We haven't shown this yet. It's been in the back of a numerous videos yeah. that we've done, and it's awful. <laughs> Why did you buy this? This is the donor car for a lot of stuff on the um, E30 M3 project. So uh, it's still got an engine in it because we already had an engine in the uh, car. But yeah. basically, the reason I bought this was for all the uh, DCT and associated um, double clutch gearbox stuff. Was this easier than finding a gearbox? Well, you, it's not just the gearbox you need, you need all sorts of other bits and pieces as well. So I figured, well, this came up and it was, you know, it's crash damaged. It's actually not very badly crash damaged. I think it's Cat C, but um, this would potentially be a pretty good drift car as well mm. at some point. So. Yeah, we're just basically pillaging parts off it until the E30 is done and then we decide what we're doing with it, which is probably sell it, unfortunately, because yeah. I've got too many cars already. So yeah, I've got to crawl around in the dirt, unfortunately, so excuse me. Well, I well, it, firstly, make things safe. This is an important part. Yeah. It does go higher. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for that help. Well, I put, it, I put it to that. <laughs> <laughs> just making sure everyone's informed. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, Rich. Ever so useful. Well, I aim to help. Oh, and it's pissing out oil already. What is it you all uh, So we bought some bits to make the um, oil cooler lines out of, uh, for the DCT, for the transmission. And they're like really nice posh turned aluminium adapters to turn the outlet of the DCT into um, into dash eight. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they don't work at all. Oh. <laughs> so here you so are. So basically, and now I'm going to probably just chop the original steel outputs um, for the lines on the DCT gearbox, and then we'll just basically TIG weld some um, dash eight fittings oh, okay. to it, and then we can use air equip afterwards. We will look I'll forward to seeing you TIG weld. Yep. Yeah. TIG welding shit. <laughs> well, we are, but I think there might be alloy. Joy. Well, I'll leave you under the car. Hello Richard. Good day Craig. Yes, not bad. So, you're doing brakes? I'm doing the hard line on the brakes, yes. How does the ABS system work for this? Do you still need to run a, I'm guessing you still need to run a sensor to the disc itself? Yeah, basically the, these are um, E36 sensors. Okay. Um, E36 hub um, and we've got a corresponding rear one um, that should be the same. So ABS sensors, front and rear. Um, where, does that, where does that mark? I'm not comp. It's, um, it just goes into the back of the hub. It picks up off the, um, there's a tooth wheel on the back of oh, the hub. Oh, okay. So that basically just counts the, the revolutions. That goes back to the ECU, whether there's some of the ABS unit. One thing with ABS, they need to have um, really stiff brake pipes if, they, if they're um, braided. Um, a lot of people do it braided throughout and it, it causes pulsing problems. Oh, okay. And you get like a weird pedal and it's supposedly very important with ABS to have very, very stiff brake pipes. What have we got here? Ooh. Speed rails. Some wheels. Oh, fucking awesome. Those look better, don't they? Much better, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. The right choice, I think. You go all right? Relatively yeah. simple. For a man that doesn't like black wheels, you're yeah, allowed. Right, yeah, this, you're allowed. This is this. the front one, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is one of the slightly weak ones. They do have similar face, so yeah. That's awesome. They've come out nice. I like the sh the satin's got quite a nice shine to it, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, cool. 
Excellent. Right, you star. Right, so that's uh, one less thing to worry about. Thanks, Ellie. No problem. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Right. right. It's like Christmas. You got more so, presents. Uh, the black one. That's not, a not enough. Not enough. Not enough presents. That's Damn, what's wrong? Not enough. What's, what we've we've got, got loads and loads, piles and piles of stuff turning up. But yeah, we, we're kind of really, really well aware of how many working days we've got to get the car sorted. And yeah, we're, um, we're dealing with the guys from Howell, Howell Racing um, who are planning on coming up on Wednesday slash Thursday next week. Craig ran out of um, uh, TIG gas. Oh. So, Columns had to go and run and get some of that. It's all, it's all getting a bit stressy. <laughs> so what's in this wonderful box of goodies? Uh, this is, I think this is the electrical stuff that we require. So loads of nice connectors. And there'll no doubt be stuff missing. But yeah. So that's basically hours and hours of joy for Craig again. Lovely. And what's in this box here? Uh, this one is... This is the old brake line stuff, yeah. yeah. Some of the brake line stuff. We've got and some extra hose. Um, yeah, so we'll be able to get those all mounted up. Um, I'm sending one of the lads off to go and collect a couple of master cylinders in a minute. We've got brake pressure switches that are arriving on Tuesday morning. So yeah, it's all definitely uh, definitely go at the moment. What else is new? Anything? Uh, no, we literally just and just do little bits of wiring here and there. So at the moment, we're trying to make sure that we've got the correct pressure signal for oil pressure. So we're placing the oil switch that's in the engine in the in the front that's of the V there the with an oil, oil pressure um, fitting and then running dash three line. So having externally mounted fuel pressure sensor and oil pressure here, running wires, all joyous things like that, really. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling this morning, Chris? Good. Yeah, good. Got some oil cooler lines done last night. Gearbox oil cooler lines oh, yeah. done. That's nice. we'll uh, we've got some bits done. You have to excuse the massive hole in the roof. Craig's unit's just like ours, but oh. yeah. So some of the routing for the gearbox oil cooler and the engine oil cooler are there. We um, need to finishing up and some grommet sorting, but, um, but yeah, progress. It's here, Craig. Yeah, you left it up here. I love that everything is black. Black, black. Is it all? Is it more expensive to get black everything? <laughs> I know, I know Most you're... of it's painted. Really? Yeah. Well, not the fucking hoses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is this stuff's really nice, isn't it? Yeah. yeah it's just... And it's less aggressive. Doesn't tear through metal and things like that than the uh, the, the metal braided hose. Oh, is that not metal? Yeah. It's yeah. It's kind of like a, 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 oh, okay. a gentler. Is it a fabric? This Craig on the on the black. Oh, I don't know what, I don't yeah. think it's, they call it cotton covered sometimes, I don't yeah. think it is, it's like a nylon I think. Looks, yeah. looks well nice. And yeah, obviously, sexual brakes. Sexual brakes. Stealing yet more parts. Oh yes. Annoying parts though. Annoying parts, but actually how much time has it saved you? Uh, having this here is quite, it's quite handy, that's for damn sure. You say that, but you have been at the office a lot doing errands. Yeah, I've had to get, um, the uh, brake pressure sensors out of an E46 M3 uh, master cylinder. Um, the right. same as some other ones, but yeah, this doesn't, I don't think it uses the same type, so I've had to go on some errands for stuff like that. But yeah, other than that, we're pretty much, well, fingers crossed. I've just been to get a few more hose fittings and um, it's now 25 to six. So we can't really go and get any more parts tonight. No. And the guy's turning up at 7 a.m. in the morning. Seven. So Where's he coming from? I think we're going to have a long night. Where's he from? Uh, somewhere, somewhere else. We have some battery isolation stuff now, battery oh. cabling done. Fuse powers for fuel pumps and stuff like that. We have new AP mass cylinders fitted, oh, um, yeah. brake pipe switches, um, hard line takeoffs. And what is that in your hand? Um, that is a um, E46 M3. Brake pressure switch. Oh yeah, so why are you using E46 stuff? The, the E46 M3, there's a particular one, the MK60 I think it is, ABS unit is um, very, very good and it can be used, it's a bit like the um, Bosch programmable one, so you can tune the ABS. Ah uh, yes, the Bosch programmable one. Yes. Obviously. Obviously. Yeah. Um, so basically you can tune the ABS and it's, it's just a very good system and it's relatively cheap because you can get it from, from the E46. I think it's got to be a CSL as a particular model. No, oh, okay. Um, but you have to put pressure switches in. 
it's a bit involved, but it works. And once it's in, it, it should work very well. Two thumbs up. Gaz yeah, is here. It's still fucking green. Now. Still green, but <laughs> I've seen the I've seen his neck, and it looks like it's gonna fit. Uh, it's got a bit on there. Stop the water going for it. Yeah. I see. So just trim it up a bit. You happy? Uh, a little bit of trim, I think. So you just filled it in with foam, is that? Just to... It's like a plastic sheet in a minute. Um, we'll fiberglass over that then once we know the, the patterns are on. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll try the boot lid on there and make sure we've got a He is even gap. very fussy and makes your life very difficult. It's got to be right, isn't it? <laughs> just his life or all our lives. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make your life difficult, new member of staff? Employee? No, it's great. <laughs> Give it time. <laughs> I've not got I've not got any real skills that you can abuse on like you guys though. Well, I'm sure you have. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just answer phones and answer emails. Where does Rich come into that real skills? <laughs> to more scabbing parts, what are they? Yeah, these are what I was just grabbing off the other uh, one. They're just um, the link bars that go from the actuators to the throttle body bars. You just click into place, luckily, but um, on that one, yeah, it's got all the had all the clips done up properly, so it's a bit of a pain to get off. But yeah, one more thing done. Off the non-existent list. Well, on the list, I mean, what is the need to be done tonight? A lot, a, a very lot. But is all the electronical stuff? No. So we've got a, we've got most, we've got the dash to do. We've got the uh, steering wheel controller, which is the um, power unit as well, with all the buttons on it. Um, we've got no, we've got a weld some uh, lambda bung, some lambda ports in the wow. exhaust um, and fit the exhaust. We've still got to do all the fluids. We've got no, nothing in the gearbox, nothing in the engine. Um, a lot. Luckily, you've had a long and relaxing weekend. Yeah. Mm. You've been lying there <laughs> thinking about this car. Yeah, that's exactly what I do, Rich, yeah. <laughs> You're not with, like... with a glass of brandy in his hand. I don't strike Craig as a brandy drinker. No, drink, he isn't. No. He likes uh, JD and Coke, is it? Is that your drink? Yeah, something like that. If he has one. Not like me. Not a big drinker. <laughs> no. Late night, then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For sure. Are you hungry? Are you oh, I'm hungry. Are you going to stay in film? Yeah. Cool. I thought you were saying you were going to say the speed then. No, no, well, that's why he's staying, really. Right. That's free food if he stays. Right, yeah. <laughs> no reason to go home, so let's stay here. So, part of the late night working thing is food. I love food. <laughs> we do love food. <laughs> they don't do naan. They do? No, we're, going, we're not going to Amid's. We're going somewhere else. Why? Why? Because it's slightly better chicken. It's less greasy. You look so shocked and disappointed. Go to um, Stockfield. They do naan. What, Stockfield? Nice. Stockfield chippy. They do proper can we, tandoori chicken. Can we can we take the S15? Yeah. Yeah. To the takeaway. Yeah. yeah. I'm hungry. Don't be all day. Yeah. Has he got speed bumps? It's stuck on road. So I don't know. Like, uh, yeah, it, it hasn't. You'll be fine. Prezzies. Very posh new diff. Is it a Drexler or Dressler? Drexler. Drexler. Yeah, but it's specifically one that's um, built and modified by. Limited slip dot D is who it is, isn't it? Right. Yeah, it's very fancy. We built it with um, special ramp angles and right. for us for the car. It's a nice bit of kit, but then I guess it's, yeah. it really probably should be for what it cost us. Mm. <laughs> right. And Rich, um, that is a ramp angle, not how the car yeah, sits see, on the ramp. See Rich, those there are ramp angles. <laughs> you don't use a bubble thing for <laughs> checking your ramp angles. Oh, this, this is heavy. It's... Tried ringing you. I was trying to ring you to tell you we're putting the diff in. Uh, <laughs> what number did you ring? <laughs> Oh, we're gonna miss call. <laughs> what number did you ring? I've got a um, one. Somebody else's. <laughs> so, what are ramp angles? We've just had that conversation. Mocking me? Yes. <laughs> Do you like the smell of diff oil? No. I like the smell of new diff oil. Mm. Not old diff oil, though. It's the absolute worst. How did you determine the ratio for this? 
basically off what people uh, recommend for track day E92 and 3s. Is it with just? GCT. Is yeah. it just? It's the perfect setup. So it's a 3.6 um, and a Drexler LSD. Um, with it's got special uh, special plates inside it as well. The ones with the um, lightened holes drilled in them and helps oil flow as well. And it, as I say, it's been tuned by this guy um, from Limited Slip who, mm -hmm. if, you, if you read what he talks about, it's mind-boggling. So. Um, okay. He does seem to really know what he's on about, and he's tried pretty much every diff in the business, every LSD in the business in his his own cars, and this is one of his own builds with a Drexler base. So, yeah, should be should be good. Now, a, st a stupid question: mm -hmm. Why not a Winters? A Winters is is not actually an LSD. A Winters is the housing, and then the LSD. You have a couple of options, and one of them's what we've got in our 86, which well, a spool, is a spool, yeah. which isn't an LSD. It's just like a lock diff. And then the other ones, they're not plated LSDs. You can't, oh, okay. you can't get a decent plated LSD for a Winters diff. Yeah. Wow. This is, this is in theory, the best that you can get. So hopefully, hopefully it works. Hopefully it all stays together, and um, no excuses. Can't you, go, can't go slow now, can I? Are you just moving? For the sake of moving? Me. Or are you doing, actually doing I'm something? I'm trying to make sure that it doesn't fall off the bench. Yeah, I'm not doing like, it's not my test procedure. Well, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't First know. they give it a hug. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know whether you're wobbling it to try and make sure it's settled properly. Yeah, um, well, it will probably fall over if I let go of it, so. I don't know where Craig's bringing the, um, the lid. And the, the back plate for this is basically um, uh, E39 M5 back plate, so it's got double mountings because the E30 M3 only has a single one, and they they tear the floor off and everything, don't they, Craig? Yep. I don't. Do you reckon we need that? Don't it. Don't well, we haven't got a new gasket. Yeah, but it didn't leak, did it? No. You putting it on? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she told me that with a quaff. What happened? <laughs> don't use that. That one had that one had massive O-rings though. So what happened with the quiff? A really expensive gearbox that we had to separate for some reason. Oh yeah, because they they sent us it with the wrong input shaft, didn't they? Yeah. So we had to change the input shaft and split the box. And yeah, it's got a really nice delicate O-ring all the way around, and it mates perfectly. And yeah, I told Craig not to use any sealant because he's a bit of a luddite with it, and he gets it everywhere. It looks disgusting. So um, I would hate to see the bathroom. And then it fucking leaked. <laughs> Do you apply your toothpaste like you apply your silicon sealant? And then moans that the gearbox leaks oil for like next three years. <laughs> I can almost sense a point of contention. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was definitely a "told you so" moment. Yeah. <laughs> Craig likes to tell you, "I told you so." Yeah. I like to tell him the same. As well. Yeah. <laughs> There's been a few. <laughs> so whoever gets the most before the end is the winner. <laughs> oh, it's not Syntrax, 75140. That's, that from Halfords? That's what this man told me to get. Limitedslip.da. Oh. Well lined up. Yeah. <laughs> Sponsored. No. Smooth drive technology, Mitch. Smooth yeah. drive? That's what I live for. Oh, that's some... oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you bit up. Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look... <laughs> Starty, no. Enough now. Settle. Both hands. Mm. Can you play the piano? No. <laughs> Things I didn't think I'd hear you ask today. <laughs> Why are we a bolt missing? Because <laughs> you took it apart. <laughs> no need for that, was it? Really? <laughs> I think after yeah, after that, it all SAS becomes fair again. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's nearly turn. ten o'clock now, so <laughs> doesn't time go faster than fun? Yes, that's that's how I describe it. <laughs> Having fun. That's <laughs> what we say. Yeah. Oh. This looks cumbersome. Done. Stainless. Absolute nightmare. Very hard. 
So is that for the Lombardo sensors? Yeah, yes. Beautiful. Has Craig used his last Lambda things? Yeah. Those them. don't look like the nuts that you've just brought round. And what's he done? Turn them down. It's a fantastic thing about having a lathe. But so why is he needed to do that? Just make it posher. It looks a bit trampy if you've just got. Oh, I guess you're not using well them to good. nut anything on, are you? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice, nice terminology. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Imagine the start start you saying that. So yeah, we're we're basically just gonna put them there and hope that we marked in the correct places because it's a bit <laughs> tight, the old um, E30 transmission tunnel slash engine. So yeah, Craig's already made the lovely exhaust from scratch, but I forgot that we needed numbers. Oh. You playing, what's the pedal for? Power. Oh. Power. <laughs> power. 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 Very, very well bottle. Guitarist. <laughs> one, one, one. Eyes, people. Is that just going to be enough to test it then? Yeah, we just yeah, need just to check the angle because. They poke out quite a long way. The old lambardas, as you call them, do. Wow. Is it named after anyone in particular, or is it like a German thing? I've got correct stance now. I've messed about with this a little bit and the slide joint. I'm not sure whether it's twisted a little bit. Well, that one is. Fine. Yeah. And that one. Yeah, I think that's going in. I'm not sure we're going to get that in. in. Can we get that in afterwards or can we get it in? Yeah, you're going to struggle to get that in, aren't you? Because the bloody pipe's in the way. Probably can. Now we'll get it in. Yeah? It's fine, yeah. Happy? Yeah. Time for permanence. What is your end goal for tonight? Pretty much it, I think. Are you behind? Uh, not really, no, there's just, there's still loads to do, but there's only certain things that we need to do for the guys from Howell who turn up tomorrow. Um, I know there's gonna be a lot of stuff that we don't, don't actually know yet as well, so we're gonna to have to do a lot of problem solving tomorrow, I imagine. They're bringing a lot of gear with them. Oh, yeah. I mean, for them it would probably be a lot easier in their workshop, but obviously because we're still in full-on build mode, it's um, it's sl uh, slightly easier for us to have it here still, rather so than transport it around. I think that wraps up this video. Does it? I think so. Okay. I think this is where I'm going to end. Okay. So join us next episode for Electricity. <laughs> Maybe. Electricity. <laughs> is that an Alton John song? Possibly. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? <laughs> You're the musical one? Yeah, I'm not the Alan John one though. No. You're not a fan of Alan John? I'm 27 years old, why would I, I give a fuck about I Alan John? I love Alan John. Okay, it's your problem, not mine. You're older than me. Bit of candle in the wind. So, thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, obviously, there's lots of parts to the series of this build and we'll continue to do more as we go along. So, make sure you subscribe if you want to check out more. And any questions, drop them in the comments below and we'll be happy to answer. So, thank you for watching. Cheers.